Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am excited. I have my third YouTube paycheck, so we are going to spin that today. Now, I guess technically I don't have it yet. It probably is not going to come until April. Um, but I am so thankful to all of you guys. Um, when I started YouTube, I honestly never thought I was going to get to a thousand and that was totally fine. It wasn't necessarily my goal. Um, and at the moment I'm at about 1150. Um, and I've been averaging about a one paycheck every four months and you have to hit a hundred dollars for them to give you a paycheck. They only send you a paycheck electronically, um, on like the 21st to 26th of the month. So even though it's March, I've already hit, I'm at like $110 right now. I don't think I will get it. They often don't send it to you to the next month. I'm on spring break this week. I'm planning on right now. I'm sitting outside of Target. I want to go to Sephora and Ulta um, and see what we can find. I really need an eye cream. <clears throat> my favorite is Alginus, but it's 60 bucks. So that would take up most of my money. So I may try to go with something different. Um, but anyway, let's talk about paycheck for a little bit. Um, so like I said, I have 1150 subscribers. I average around 25 to 30 bucks a month. And so I wrote down some little things. So November, I did $30. December, $26.95. January was very low or my one of my lowers, uh, $23.76. February was $33.99. So I kind of bounce all over the place. Um, my highest grossing videos are always Stitch Fix. They go anywhere from $6 to about $9.79 per video. And most of my other videos are $1.50 to $2.50 a video. And then some of them I, I, I have lower. I have all over. So it kind of bounces around. Um, and um, the money they pay you is based on different things. View time. The longer you guys watch the videos, the more the money goes up, even especially on the ads. So they'll, if you just skip an ad, which I don't blame you, I absolutely skip the ads too. I don't watch anybody else's ads. But if you don't skip the ad, then the money goes up. Um, so it just kind of bounces all over. But I've been consistently getting, this will be my third paycheck, and I've been monetized for about one year. Um, I've been averaging generally about $120 on the paycheck. I'm super excited. It's, you know, coming to be now three times a year. I kind of get to just go peruse the skincare section, etc., and, you know, pick things out that make me happy. And I don't do that. Like I do, I mean, it's not like I never buy something for myself, but I don't generally go out on a one day and just spend 120 bucks on, you know, skincare or things like that. So it's just such a fun treat to be able to walk around and just put things in your cart. Um, I need some kind of like serums. I'm out of serums. I absolutely don't need moisturizers. I feel like I'm good on the hair front. <clears throat> so we will see what catches my fancy today. Um, but anyway, let's let's see what we can find uh, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, I am back out of Target. And so I only got two things and boy, they totaled $38. Um, there were a couple other things I could have gotten, but I knew they carried them at Ulta. And Ulta often has coupons. So I'm really liking Ulta better at this point. So right now Ulta sent me a like spend 50, get $10 off. And so it's free money. And so let's see, <clears throat> one of the items is new, um, but I've never tried. This is the Naturium um, Dew Glow Moisturizer SPF 50. And I have seen lots and lots and lots of people rave about this. And so I guess I've been suckered in. So this is the packaging. Um, I love, it's an SPF 50. So I count this to me as a sunscreen. Again, it's called a moisturizer, but I use sunscreen every day. And so, um, and it's supposed to be glowy and I love glowy. I've also tried several Naturium products and really like them. I was trying to see earlier, um, let's see, I guess I have sodium hyaluronate. It does have niacinamide, um, argon oil. I was trying to see all the skincare because I feel like this to me, even though it says moisturizer, this, I count this as a sunscreen for sure, but it does have a few, um, skincare things in there. So I'm excited to try this. Um, and this was $21.99. Um, so not 
terrible for a sunscreen. I think that my sunscreens that I use regularly from Polish Choice are more expensive. So if I loved this, that would be cheaper. And then this, they did not have in stock at Ulta. So I went ahead and bought it, bought it at Target. I'm, I use this basically as a serum and this is $13.50. Um, I love this stuff. My skin loves this stuff. Honestly, I feel like I have noticed a difference without it. Um, so this is the Burt's Bee Calming uh, Day Lotion. It has aloe, rice smoke, a bunch of good things. I love this. I do, I hate the one with SPF. So I would avoid the one with SPF. This is supposed to help redness, which I do think it helps. Let's see, what do we have? Sunflower seed oil, glycerin, squalane, um, safflower seed oil, rice, honey. I like honey for calming. Um, citric acid. Let's see. And I think that's the main, covers the main things. My skin really likes this. I will say it, it lasts somewhere between like six and eight weeks. So probably about two months. But I use this every day. Sorry, uh, the sun is coming in. Um, and I love it. So I went without it for a little bit. And so I just... Um, I don't know. I was looking forward to it, but I was kind of, I guess, waiting, um, until I got my next YouTube paycheck. So we are up next is Ulta. All right. I just got out of Ulta, so no reason to go to Sephora. Honestly, I really like Ulta. Now they do have different brands and they both don't have the same brands, but I like getting money off. Like I don't, Sephora, as far as I know, never offers coupons like that. So I think I overspent a little bit. It was $84 or something. And then I had the $10 off coupon. So I ended up spending $73, which I think I came out just about right. I spent 40 at the other place. So I think that's like 110 ish. So actually perfect amount. And so um, let's see what we have. So I really, I forgot to look at Target for Bliss Vitamin C. My face loves vitamin C when it works, but then hates vitamin C most of the time. Bliss vitamin C was the one that really did work. And I think it was Mad Hippie. Um, their vitamin C that I had gotten in a box and my skin liked it. At the time, I just thought Mad Hippie, where do you buy that at? And I never really thought of it again. I think it was the vitamin C. I did look up some reviews and a lot of people are saying great for sensitive skin. So I kind of went out on a limb. Um, and so it's a glass uh, dropper bottle, $33 for the full size, which is one full ounce. They do have a mini. I will say a lot of the minis, you're saving money in the aspect that if you don't like it, it's less. But mo most often I have found the minis in any store are not a good deal. You're paying five or six dollars more per ounce or per you know allotment than if you just got the big one so I did get the full size hopefully I love it it looks like it came with a free sample oh gosh I probably don't want the sample uh microdermabrasion facial that sounds terrifying maybe I'll give it a try it looks like a cream I will have to read on it as we know I don't like acids and such um so anyway I'm gonna try this out fingers crossed this is the mad hippie that I had that I liked but again, I had meant to look at Bliss and I don't think they had Bliss in Ulta. Um, this is a replenish. This is my favorite peptide serum right now, Good Molecules. I have an ordinary one that I bought in one of my Ulta, like Ulta holes, not a fan. Um, and then I also just had in my last shopping thing from Amazon, the Turter brand. Not, I'm not liking it. I love this stuff. This is 12 bucks. It soaks right into the skin. I recommend putting it on the very first thing um, out of the shower. Love it. Glass bottle. Um, I think the ingredients are mainly, what is it? Let's see what the ingredients are. I also love that Good Molecules just puts a little list right there. So water, propendol, glycerin, something I have no idea. A couple things I have no idea. Um, two, three actually peptides. Now they are towards the bottom, the bottom four ingredients, two two peptides, a hyaluronic acid, and then another a copper peptide. Copper peptide is what I have by the ordinary and I just, my skin doesn't seem to prefer it. Love this stuff, $12. This only lasts me about a month, maybe six weeks, uh, but I love it and it's 12 bucks. My skin just eats this stuff up. 
Then um, this was just a random, and it was also because it was $5.99. This is the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. I don't normally do blush, but this just seemed kind of like a pink shimmery highlight. And again, it was $5.99. I like the idea of the baked. I have no idea why. So I thought I would try it. It seemed less scary. This is pink flush. Um, and there were they had a couple of different colors, but I liked that this, and I don't know whether it's coming across in the car, but this has so many little shimmers that I'm kind of excited. Um, I honestly don't wear blush at all. I don't even have a blush right now in my collection. But I thought, why not try it? I will say, as far as essence goes, you hear people rave about them. I can't stand their mascara. Terrible junk, if you ask me. But then you see all kinds of influencers raving about their mascara. So I don't know. I've never tried their blush, but for $5.99, it was kind of like, I don't know, something different. And then this is sort of like my real treat, I think, out of the whole... Actually, out of the whole two things, my, my kind of treats are the Naturium sunscreen and this. I I don't know, Beekman 1802 Milk Drops. Um, I love that they have drop -off bottles in the store and you can feel the consistency. This soaked right into my hand. It felt really nice. Um, Beekman has a box. I should try that. Like you, I don't know whether it's quarterly, but you get a lot to try the Beekman products. They are a little bit pricier. This actually is maybe one of the minis that wasn't so outrageous. It's 0.5 ounces and it was $26. Very nice frosted glass container. They did have a full size, which for some reason was only 0.95. And it was, I think, 46. So I didn't figure the math in there. But it wasn't super outrageous to get the small one. But this is a ceramide serum. If you guys probably get sick of me talking about ceramides and peptides. But it just has a what looks to be a really nice ingredient list. Let's see. Um, water and then the Rosa Damascus flower. I love that. My skin loves that. It helps with my redness. Um, ceramide glycerin and then ceramide three. Ceramide's in the top four ingredients. So that's really good to me. Goat milk, which I assume will be calming. Um, milk protein. Cucumber extract. Aloe. Camilla, all three of those help with calming, help with redness. Um, blue thistle flower, apple fruit extract, willow bark, um, bilberry. They have a lot of like different things. Whey protein, uh, triglycerides. <laughs> oh, I've never seen that. One of the last things and says, and kindness. <laughs> Interesting. Um, anyway, this just sounds really awesome. Um, if I love it, I will get the full size. So it's a dropper and it is just such a nice uh, consistency. Um, almost like a moisturizing liquid, but not oily at all. It just soaks right in. I am super excited about this one. This is probably that and the Naturium are my two like favorite things I got. So super excited. I, I really, again, I'm just so appreciative that I have this hobby. I feel like, you know, moving to India or moving here from Indiana was hard. And so I feel like kind of YouTube is a hobby, but I, I don't know. I hate to say like a friend replacement, but that's, I mean, if we're going to be honest, what I kind of use it for, um, I wish I could anyway, but I'm so grateful that you guys watch my videos and I get to three times a year, have a little shopping trip. Um, it just makes my day. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you soon.